This is a quick video over depreciation and we're going to look at the unit of production depreciation method. Method or meth. Oh, gosh. So, so uh, let's say we have a truck. Truck and we purchased a truck for $50,000. $50,000. So at time 0, so I'm going to do 0, 1, 2 and 3. So at time 0 or year 0, so these are years. The truck has a book value of $50,000. Now the question is, what is the book value in one year? Well, we don't have enough information at the moment. So this truck, we expect to get 300,000 miles out of it. We expect to get 300,000 miles out of it. Now at the end of those 300,000 miles, we expect to sell, sell the truck for three thousand dollars that's how much we expect to sell it for so the salvage value salvage value of the truck is three thousand dollars so at any period of time we should be able to sell the truck for at least three thousand dollars assuming it's under the three hundred thousand mile limit so now what's the last bit of information we need to know well we need to know how many miles we drove between buying the truck in the first year and that is we're gonna say 20,000 miles 20,000 miles so how much of the trucks value decreased or how much did the book value decrease of the truck so to find the book value decrease we look for the depreciation so the depreciation of the truck or D is equal to the amount of miles we drove which is 20,000 the first year miles and then we divide that by the 300,000 miles. So that's how much of the truck we used, miles. Now we multiply it by the difference in how much we bought the truck and how much we can sell the truck for at the end of the depreciation. So we have the 50,000 minus the 3,000. And that will give us the price decrease in the truck for one year over those 20,000 miles. So let's look at that real quick. So we have 20,000, and we're going to divide by 300,000. So that is equal to 0 0.0666, so 0 0.0666. Now the price difference, which is just 50,000 minus 3,000, which is 47,000. So what is that equal to? 0 0.666 times 47,000. 0 0.06666 times 47,000 is $3,113. 3,000. Wait, that's. Yep, $3,114. $40. So that's how much the, the, the truck lost in value. So 50,000 minus that, the depreciation will give us a new book value at year one. So let's look at that real quick. So 50,000 minus $3,140 will equal $46,860. What was that? I completely just forgot that. $46,860. $46,860. So that's a book value in the first year. Now let's assume we went crazy and drove 100,000 miles. <laughs> Oh, that's a lot of miles in one year. So now, what will be the the difference? Well, all we're doing, all we're doing is saying, okay, well, we still have 300,000 miles, or it's based off of 300,000 miles. So we used 100,000 miles between year one and two. So we just changed that to 100,000 miles. So 100,000 miles which 100,000 divided by 300,000 is just one-third. So it's the 47,000 divided by one-third, which is, what is that? 47 times uh, 1 divided by 3. So that is equal to $15,660. $660. So the truck lost a value of $15,660. So the book value of the truck after 
the second year is the book value of the first year, which was $46,860 minus um, $15,660. So the book value after the second year is $31,200. $31,200. So that's how you find the book value and depreciation for some truck or some piece of equipment or anything when it comes to the unit uh, production depreciation method. So all you do is take out the number of units, in this case it was miles, and you just say, okay, how many miles did I drive? And divide it by the total miles you think you can get out of that piece of a unit. And multiply it by the difference between how much you purchased it for and how much you think you can sell it for.